Greetings, everyone. Thanks again, once again, for tuning in to Porsche Talk. We're going to touch on bean frames. We're going to touch on this woman who chose to burn down a party, a home yes. in Tennessee. Yeah. And we're going to touch on Monique defending mm. Roseanne Barr, yes. which is very unacceptable. Yes. Now, let's get into the whole story with Bing Rames. Okay, he was recently held at gunpoint in his Santa Monica home by police after there was a report from one of his neighbors of a large black man breaking into the property. And all the brother was trying to do was relax and watch some ESPN in his basketball shorts when he heard a knock at his front door, according to people. He claims he got up to open the door, and that's when he saw a red dot pointed at his face from a gun. Then Santa Monica police, who have yet to comment publicly on the matter, allegedly told him to put his hands up. The moment de-escalated when the captain of the police supposedly recognized Bean from their son's high school basketball rivalry of all things. Police let him know a neighbor made a call about a break-in. Bean went to go confront the woman with officers by his size, but she allegedly denied making the call. He says police eventually apologized to him, but Bean says his biggest concern was that it could have been his teenage son. Um, damn. Straight up? Yeah. Was this a setup? Right. What was this about? She didn't right. like Bean Rames, uh... She didn't like his performance in Baby Boy. He wanted his ass arrested. What what happened here? Because at the beginning it says something about a large black man, right? He is a large black man. I mean, they went on there and seen this large black man, right? Before they realized it was being rained and wanted him to put his hands up. So what is this really about? Some other nosy ass, hating ass, disgusting ass, racist ass neighbor. Yes, yes. That's it. That's all yeah. I got to say about it. Yeah. I'm going to say this. I think that this is very unfortunate because not only is being Rames just a big name in our eyes anyway as black people, Holiday but Friday. he's been an actor for a very long time and so I mean he's I'm sure he's lived in quite well developed and wealthy neighborhoods for this to have to happen to him it's just so very unfortunate but it just lets you know that no matter what our address is and what zip code we live in we still have to face this bullshit it is what it is which is kind of it's, it's what comes along with it it's just it's, it's bullshit but kudos to Ving because you know I would have slapped the bitch backhand style but he didn't do that obviously when kudos to him for keeping his composure during during this he um, already unfortunate knows what's up. incident. Exactly. He know what's up. Don't turn into baby boy, okay? Absolutely. He already know what's up. <laughs> the chick in Tennessee, right? Yeah. She gets mad they having a pool party. <laughs> and what happened was <laughs> she wasn't invited, right? Yeah. So she decides to burn it down. Oh my God. What is that about? It says... A woman in Nashville, her name is Shamika. She was pissed, y'all. Yes. She didn't receive an invite. It was a local party in her area. And she just decides to set it on fire because she was left out. It went down on June 28th. She knew the people throwing the party. And she rolled up to an unknown man in the driver's seat and started going off about not receiving an invite. This motherfucker is great. Yes. <laughs> It didn't help. They still wouldn't let her inside. So she told him she was going to set that bitch on fire. And that's what she did. Lady, don't nobody have to invite your old crazy ass to their party. You crazy <laughs> as hell. What's wrong with you? Oh my God. She looked like she should have been working at that Popeye's okay. 7 and Grace. <laughs> with the roaches. Honey. Mm -mm -mm. She don't even look, look like she should be nowhere near a fucking party, okay? You know, this is so fucking ridiculous. And it's so unfortunate that it has to be a black woman acting a fucking fool. Stop acting a fucking fool. Yo ass look like you shouldn't be nowhere near a motherfucking party. Any fucking way, okay? You sit your crazy ass down. Shit, go pay your motherfucking bills, okay? Don't she worry about party. no fucking party. She was party. at the party in her mind, a crazy mm, one. Okay, she, she was at a, a, a party, all right, huh? That's just ridiculous. Get your life together. Don't be worried about no fucking party. Oh, shit, it's ridiculous, honey. Ooh. Please. Pray please. for her, honey. Y'all pray for her. Get it together. Mm -mm -mm. Monique over here talking about forgive Roseanne because we've all made mistakes and said some things we wish we could take back. And from her personal experience, she doesn't believe she's a racist. Roseanne Barr is my sister in comedy. And she's my universal sister. And what I won't do, Sam, is throw her away for making a mistake. We've all said and done things, baby, that we wish we could take back and swallow and say, oh, but when you're in the public eye, you can't, and it's out there. 
but to put the title of racist on her. I can only share my experience with Roseanne. I'm Monique Nabu. You was just up there talking about how you're unequally treated mm -hmm. as a black woman in comedy, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. And I understand, Monique, that you your feelings may be valid. I understand you probably have a, a personal relationship. And just because a person might be racist, they might make an exception for you. That's possible. You. She could like you and still be looking at you side eye. I don't know because I'm not in that crazy bitch's head. Roseanne is crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, she just flipped out the other day. I thought the bitch was white. She's <laughs> crazy. So, I just, I don't know, Monique, Auntie. I feel you, but no, it's not a good look. I think you need to leave that alone. But maybe it is a good look because it's keeping you in the limelight for whatever you need to do next. So maybe that was smart. Maybe this is strategy. If it's strategy, then I can get with it. But other than that, if you serious, no. Yeah. It's a no for me. Yeah, I agree. I, um, Monique, this is some bullshit. For one, just because you may like someone and just because they have done something good for you doesn't mean that they're a good person. Just because they have may have benefited you some way in your life doesn't mean that they benefit society. Like, what she said was fucked up. It was a racist fucking comment. And she must have racist beliefs. So, I don't give a fuck about that. And for you to be someone who was just fighting for racism and all of that, and fighting against it and all of that, and, you know, wanting equal rights and all of that, you would think that you would not only make a better decision as to what your thoughts are on this situation, but you would think that you would want her to do better. So, Monique, I'm not here for it, honey. You're always all over the fucking place, honey. Um, keep, you know, you know, I applaud you with your workout videos and all of that stuff and your, you know, hey, my love. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know, all of that shit. But, honey, keep doing that shit. Stay out of other shit, honey. You absolutely ridiculous. Anyway. Well, again, thanks again for tuning in to Porsche Talk. Catch you next time. Bye. Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porsche Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right. You'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.